Um, okay. Let me just say this about the DUI guy incident. I made, like I said, I made a series of mistakes. One of those big mistakes was making a, a, and I don't want to say ill-advised, but, uh, I made a, I made a video that was, that was dumb to make. I made, I did the, I made the choice to make that video when I was running on like zero sleep. There was absolutely no way that that was going to be successful. We've, we've gotten a lot of comments from, from some folks about some stuff that's going on. Um, I just want to say that when it comes to our trial streams, we have a lot of fun. We share memes. We sometimes, you know, make impressions. We sing songs and all that kind of stuff, but do not be fooled. Like we, we have a lot of fun. We don't take ourselves seriously, but we do take the process of the, the judicial system, the court system very, very seriously. And we take court rules also very, very seriously. I just, at the end of the day, I did the wrong thing. Um, and this after I had already made a statement where I had, I had used the wrong words. I had said something along the lines of like, when we send people into the courtroom, I knew we weren't sending anyone into the courtroom. What I meant to say was that we were, we were helping to facilitate people getting into the courtroom so that we were, we were actively <coughs> using my channel to try to promote people, to try to volunteer their time. So the folks like you, DUI guy, Rob, Ian could all get into the courtroom. Um, and I was concerned about, you know, things being, being seen in a certain way. And, and, you know, and so that, that was what was sort of facilitating this kind of stuff. When I made that, that video, that was an apology video. So there are many people that I have talked to, uh, in the last, I don't know how many hours who have, um, advise me not to say or do anything or if I do to do something in a very 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 closely guarded kind of way um I I don't I'm not really sure exactly how I am where I am right now but it was the most embarrassing most vulnerable most humiliating lowest point of my life and it was played out for the internet. And it was played out for a lot of people that were already very angry with me because there was there was a narrative out there about what had happened. I had my perspective that I desperately wanted to get out. And I felt like I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't do it um, in the way that I that was truthful and the way that I the way that I had like really just just wanted to get my side of things out on that. And so that was like my attempt to do that. And it was completely unsuccessful. Now, everyone else in our community that saw that video reached out to me about it. Uh, maybe not everyone, but I would say most people. And, you know, talked about it to me personally. Um... Nick is not one of those people. And I got a lot of ridicule for that video. And then next thing I know, after, after, you know, all of this happening, next thing I know, Nick is, Nick, Nick is not only talking about it, he's dissecting it for a live stream. And, and I, I just, I remember, I remembered feeling like, okay, this is not something that you're going to reach out to me personally to see if I'm okay, to see if I, if you, if, if, if I have a different take on things that have happened, you're going to, you're going to dissect it on a live stream seemingly for super chats and all this kind of stuff. So I just, I was, I was hurt by that, but I wasn't going to hold on to it. And I was just going to say, you know, I suppose that this is, this is just the way that our relationship is. Like I, I had thought we were friends, but I guess that this is more of a transactional kind of thing. And, and to see, to see that get picked apart for the public so that the public can learn at my expense rather than talking to me behind the scenes of this is what you should have done. This is how, how I can counsel you. 
that the only way for me to learn what Nick thought about, you know, like what I should learn from it was through a pu very public dissection in front of a crowd of people that were very happy to also, to also, you know, also come after me for all kinds of reasons. It didn't feel like that's what something that a friend would do. So I just basically from that, from that, I would just was like, you know what, then, then I guess that's, that's our, that's the nature of our relationship and that's fine. That's okay. Um, I, uh, when I, when I look back on, 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 on this, this whole, this whole thing, I'm just like, I, I, I get a screaming headache. Apologize. Oh, I won't do that. Apologizing is for the weak and wrong, which is why you should do it to me because you are weak and wrong.